Big attack of Pierre Latour. And here goes Primoz Roglic. Welcome to stage four of Paris-Nice 2021. After Stefan Bissiger's superb time trial win yesterday, the peloton are set for a bumpy day among the vineyards of Beaujolais. Over three and a half thousand metres of climbing and a summit finish to Chiroub, which should cause a big shake-up in the general classification. Now Primoz Roglic looking ideally placed after coming third yesterday, starting the stage just six seconds behind Bissiger. There were six riders in the day's breakaway, including Fabien Dubé in the polka dot jersey. But he couldn't quite match his fellow Frenchman Anthony Perez on the early climbs, the cofferdis man taking over as the virtual king of the mountains. Also at the front, classic specialist Oliver Nassen, former Spanish champion Jose Rojas and all-rounders Julian Bernard and Oscar Riesebeck. Their maximum lead was 5 minutes and 30, but it was down to 3 minutes heading into the final 50 kilometres. Roglic's Jumbo-Visma team steadily upping the tempo at the front of the peloton. Now Dubé was soon dropped, so five riders now in the lead as they began to wind through wine country. Bissiger also going backwards on the first climb of the Col de Derbys. The Swiss digging deep, but he was set to lose that yellow and white jersey. The riders preparing for a second hike at the Mont Bouy, where Julian Alaphilippe took a brilliant time trial win in 2017. Other teams now starting to show an interest at the front of the pack, including the Ineos Grenadiers and UAE Team Emirates. And with 25k to go, the gap was just over a minute. So the big guns getting into position as Julien Bernard moved clear up at the front. The Frenchman was solo at the summit. Two favourites then took a spill on the descent. Theo Gagan Hart crashed and David Godu couldn't avoid him. The British rider forced to abandon. Remy Cavagna, so close to victory yesterday, then decided to chase down Bernard along with former Paris-Nice winner Luis Leon Sanchez. Bernard heading on to the final climb where he was quickly joined by Sanchez. Poor old Cavagna was let down by a mechanical at the worst possible moment. So the riders tackling the steepest part of the climb. Bernard and then Sanchez at work court. Quentin Pache and Pierre Latour both launching attacks, but the big move came from that man Primoz Roglic. The Slovenian shooting off like a cork from a bottle and there'd be no catching him. The chasers are trying to limit their losses as Roglic opened his account for 2021. Here comes Primoz Roglic. He's going to take today's stage. Stage four of Paris Nice goes to the Slovenian champion Roglic, supreme on the climb. And last year's winner, Maximilian Sharkman, crosses the line 14 seconds down. Primoz Roglic emerged as the hot favourite after yesterday's time trial and he has now seized control of Paris-Nice in his very first participation. The 31-year-old is targeting a first major stage race victory in France after last year's disappointments on the Dauphiné and the Tour. The world number one taking his 48th professional victory. Yeah, it was a hard day, huh? so uh, it was something for me definitely. And uh, uh, yeah, it was... Uh was uh, was beautiful that I had the legs and I could finish it off. We go optimistic into the next races and uh, we do our best and uh, we see uh, what it means uh, with the result in this. Roglic 12 seconds ahead of the chasing pack, led by Max Schachmann and also picking up 13 bonus seconds on the day. Godu recovering to finish inside the top 10. The two-time Vuelta winner leads Schachmann by 35 seconds overall, with Brandon McNulty now up to third. Astana Premier Tech pair Alexander Vlasov and Jon Izaguirre round out the top five as Bissiger drops to 50th. Roglic also takes the green jersey off the shoulders of Sam Bennett, though the Irishman will have a chance to snatch it back tomorrow. Anthony Perez finally gets hold of the polka dot jersey. He virtually secured it on last year's Tour de France, only to crash out. He leads fellow Frenchman at Bernard and Dubé. And finally, 22-year-old McNulty is the best young rider, some four seconds ahead of Vlasov. After two intense days of effort, Roglic should get a chance to recharge his batteries tomorrow as the sprinters battle it out in Bolen.